Hey everyone, my name is Michael Gradic. I live in Barcelona, Spain, and this is the video that explains the crawler I've designed for the CS101 contest. And just before digging into explaining the crawler I've designed, uh, I would just like to give a huge thank you to Professor David and Peter, as well as the whole Udacity team for organizing this course. I feel like I've learned a lot and I'm super excited about the project. So again, a huge thank you. And I would just like to give some brief inf background information about who I am. So I'm a business student at Isada Business School here in Barcelona. But since I was a little kid, I've always felt really passionate about computers, technology and, com and computer science in general. And uh, finally, I get the opportunity to, to study computer science, which is really exciting. So that's a bit about me. And so what I wanted to do for, th for this assignment or this contest is to kind of combine these two perspectives. So I wanted to use what we learned so far in computer science and apply it to some kind of business problem. So I thought this was a great opportunity. So what I've done is to program a, a crawler that crawls collective buying sites. What a collective buying site is, is a site that lists a whole bunch of coupons. So here we have an example of some kind of uh, bungee jump and uh, well if, for example it's 50% discount and we see that uh, 48 people are, have already bought it so these companies list uh, discounted services on sites like these uh, hoping that they will attract a lot of new customers and just a bit of context information about these type of companies they're known for having spectacular growth rates uh, Groupon is probably the most famous example around the world they reached a over one billion dollar company valuation in I think it was uh, one and a half years time so that is quite spectacular and an another characteristic about these this type of well this market is that the companies are really competitive um, so within little time there have been a lot of so-called Groupon clones so companies that try to imitate Groupon's business model and here in Spain, uh, we have a lot of these companies. Here I've just opened up three, but there are probably over 20 companies of this type. So why might it be interesting to crawl a site like this? Well, off the top of my mind, I can think of two re reasons. One is, since there are so many sites, uh, it would be really interesting to build a site that aggregates the coupons of all of these sites. So you build a site that lists coupons of all of these sites um, and what would collect all of these coupons is your crawler. And so you would have one site that lists coupons of all of the competitors and you could refer traffic to each one of these sites. And by referring traffic, you could then have a little stake of their profits for each deal they sold thanks to traffic you refer to them. And the second one I can think of is imagine you are one of these companies wouldn't it be great to receive each day a report about your competitors how they're doing how many deals they have what's their average price what's their average discount how much money are people saving thanks to their coupons how many people are buying from their coupons etc etc so this crawler could also be a really powerful tool for business intelligence and in order to submit my crawler to the CS101 contest I have had to make sure it's fully legal, so to speak. So I've checked the privacy policy, the terms of service, it com complies with all of them. And then I also went along to check the Groupon uh, robots.txt file. So these are the rules that apply to us. And uh, we see that, uh, well, for example, this directory we won't need. And But this one was a bit more ambiguous because we're not going to be crawling deal slash city. But, uh, for example, we do need deal slash Barcelona or deal slash Madrid. So I wasn't too sure about this, so I went to check with Google to see if they index these directories that we need. And here, for example, we see Google does index these directories. So here we see deals slash Barcelona. This is a directory we will need to be crawling. And I also checked with DuckDuckGo, and uh, we see similarly to Google, DuckDuckGo also indexes deals slash Barcelona. It even goes as far as in indexing a deal uh, mini site so this is a URL to a actual single coupon. Uh, I believe this is one as well. So uh, we see that we won't have a problem with the robots.txt file either. 
All right, so let's jump right in into the source code. So this is the source code. I've posted the link to download it in the form uh, for the course contest. And so I won't go over all of the code. Uh, I'll just let it run and uh, kind of go over what the crawler is doing on the website because the crawler will take quite a while. It has to crawl over 700 pages. But uh, I'd just like to briefly explain the structure. I've divided the code into the three main areas. The first area is initializing the initial variables. So here we can see the data structure. It's really simple. It's uh, quite similar to what we saw in class. It's divided into the three families of coupons that are on the site. The second area is just the procedures we're using to fetch all the data. Uh, we're using techniques uh, really similar to what we saw in class and what we learned. And the final area is like kind of what I call the control panel. So basically you can control the, this crawler with these six uh, variables, these six switches, uh, by turning them false, true, and vice versa. So what the first four do is limit the amount of pages uh, you, you want the crawler to crawl. So if you, if you select seed all, it will crawl all of the website, all of the cities. Uh, if you turn it to false, it will crawl only deals in Barcelona. Um, the, the other three, crawl shopping, is to crawl only shopping, shopping deals, only travel deals, only local deals. And the final two are about the reporting it produces at the very end. So at the end, uh, the crawler will, will produce a report, uh, kind of highlighting the, the, um, the three families of deals, how well they're performing, what kind of uh, coupons they have. Uh, or some kind of statistics and whatnot. And so without further ado, let's just, uh, oh wait, let's just change uh, everything to true to make sure it crawls all the site and let's run the crawler. So it's crawling the seed site, found 58 cities to crawl and now it's, uh, one by one it's crawling the cities. So how this looks on the website is um, basically it's going into here it's fetching the URLs to all the cities and then entering city by city one by one. So let's see how this looks like. It's going into this part of each city which lists all of the deals for the given city and then it's fetching the URLs to all of the deals. And so it's still at 50% so let's just fast forward and it's almost done. Here we go. It says it found 661 deals to crawl. And again, one by one, it's crawling all of the deals it found. So again, on the website, what this looks like is um, it's uh, going to this part here and entering deal by deal and fetching the relevant information. So let's see what this looks like. For example, here, a nice trip to Madrid. So it's entering in one of these sites and it's fetching the following information, the price, the discount rate, the savings and how many people have already bought the deal as well as the relative URL to the deal. So then with this information we will be able to do all sorts of statistics and analysis on how well each um, family of deals is doing and as well we will be able to highlight kind of the best deal within each family and uh, give the relative URL to go visit the deal and see what it's all about. And so it's still a 9%, but with the magic of video, we are almost done, 99%. And there we go. So it has produced the report. Let's just take a look. So as I said, it breaks down the report into the three families of deals, shopping, travel, and local. But then we checked uh, global to true. So it has produced the global. So let's just concentrate on this to keep it short. This is, uh, these three are just a breakdown of this. So, information we, we get, uh, for example, the minimum average and maximum price, discount rate, savings. So, um, then we get, for example, how many deals we called, so 661. Uh, total deals sold, so how many actual units to, to clients they have sold, 14,700. Uh, the total savings people have made, thanks to these deals, is 1.9 million euros. The average saving per deal that the user makes is 133 euros. Total sales so far on the website with the deals listed right now is 500,000 euros, not bad. 
average ticket, so the average amount of money that a person pays per deal is 40 euros. The best deal is a deal that sold uh, 14,000 uh, euros, and this is the relative URL to it. And the sales forecast for Groupon Spain this year is 200 million euros. So, uh, this is basically what my caller does. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I also hope this kind of proves it's a really interesting thing to uh, apply computer science within the business context. So as I said before, uh, I saw two really easy applications of a cl crawler in for uh, collective buying sites. The first one was the site that aggregates coupons and refers traffic. And the second one was, was what I ended up uh, constructing. So a business intelligence tool for any, any kind of business. So... Um, as I said before, you know, I, I hope this proves that uh, it's really interesting to use computer science uh, for in, within the business context as well. And so, yeah, just thank you for your time. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. See you later.